Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2018 Ford Taurus, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt Class 2 inch and a quarter trailer hitch receiver. Now one of my favorite things about this hitch is the way it looks. For the most part, it's going to be completely hidden and that's going to help maintain your factory appearance. It's also going to have a gloss black finish, which in my opinion looks really good with our Taurus. Now this is going to work great for you, especially if you already have inch and a quarter accessories. Now kind of the one downside to the inch and a quarter size is that there aren't as many options available on the market as far as those hitch mounted accessories go. Now with that being said, since this is a class 2 hitch, it's going to have some pretty decent weight capacities. As far as the maximum tongue weight rating goes, that's going to be 300 pounds. That's going to be the amount of weight pushing down on our hitch. So that's going to work perfect for those two and three bike racks. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's going to be 3,500 pounds, or the amount of weight pulling on our hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything you might have on it. Now it is always a good idea to check with your Ford's owner's manual to make sure your Taurus can pull that much weight. Now it is going to have a half inch pinhole. But keep in mind, it does not come included with the pin and clip. However, if you need one, you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com. And it does have loop style safety chain openings, which aren't huge, but they do give us enough room to use just about any size hook that we might have without interfering with our pin and clip. Now keep in mind, when using this hitch for all non-trailer loads, Kurt does require the use of a stabilizing strap. And if you need one of those, you can find it here at eTrailer. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements. You're going to use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to use. From the ground to the top inside edge of our receiver tube opening, that's about 12 and a half inches. You're going to use that measurement to figure out if you need to get a ball mount with either a drop or a rise. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of a rear bumper, that's about six inches. And you're going to use that to figure out if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting our bumper. Now that we went over some of the features, let's go ahead and install the hitch together. Now we're gonna to need to lower our exhaust down, but before we do that, I like to use a strap and go from one side of the vehicle to the other. That way it has a little bit of support and we can control how fast we lower it down. Now we're going to have to remove two rubber exhaust isolators just like this. Now you're going to have one on the driver's side muffler and one that's identical to this setup over on the passenger side. To remove it, I sprayed it down with a little bit of penetrating oil and that'll help it slide off easier. And then we can just take a pry bar pop it off like so, and we can move over and do the other side. And just for a little extra room, I'm going to be removing this third one that is right before our mufflers. Let me use that same te technique to get it off. Well, here on the passenger side, we're actually going to have to remove these two bolts to completely lower our metal exhaust hanger. I'm going to use an 18 millimeter socket to do that. Now I'm going to do that same thing to the driver's side. However, the two bolts holding this in are going to be a 10 millimeter. Now on the driver's side of our vehicle, we can install our hardware and our attachment points and the frame rail. We're going to first start with this hole right here. What we're going to do is use the fish wire technique to get our hardware to drop out of it. So we'll take the coiled end of our fish wire and feed it through the hole towards the back of the vehicle. We're trying to get it to drop out of this larger hole right here. So if it doesn't fall right out, you can reach up into the frame rail and grab it. I'm going to pull it down carefully. Once we're at this point, you're going to take a spacer block and a carriage bolt. You're going to thread that carriage bolt 
onto the coiled end of our fish wire. And we can push that hardware up through the hole. Pull the other end of our fish wire and drop it down. And for our other access point, which will be this larger hole, we're going to use the reverse fish wire technique. We'll take the coiled end of our wire, put on a spacer block, thread on another carriage bolt. We're just gonna feed that hardware up through that hole and pull it back down. Now, once we have it like this, what we're going to do is carefully unthread our fish wire. Now on the passenger side, our attachment points are gonna be a little bit different. We're going to use this large hole. We're also going to use this factory weld nut that was originally holding our exhaust hanger in place. So to prepare this hole, we're just going to use that reverse fish wire technique again, sliding on our spacer block and threading on our carriage bolt. feeding it up through the hole. Now, since this is the last hardware that we're gonna have to fish wire, we can leave this fish wire attached for now. Now, before we put our hitch into place, we're going to put on our exhaust isolators because the hitch right here will replace our factory metal hangers. So we'll take our isolator off and from the bottom up, We'll slide that over our hitch hanger. Now with an extra set of hands, we can put our hitch into place. We can put our fish wire through the corresponding holes in our hitch. And up and over our exhaust. Drop through the hitch. We can remove our fish wire and loosely install one of our flange nuts. Now we're going to want to get one started on each side, that way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. The one attachment point is going to use a little bit different hardware. Instead of a carriage bolt and a flange nut, we're just going to have a hex bolt and a conical tooth washer. Now you want to make sure that the teeth on the washer are going to face the hitch. So we'll have it all like that. Then we can just thread it into that factory weld nut. Now with all of our hardware in place and hand tight, you can go ahead and use a three quarter inch socket to snug it all down. Now we can use a torque wrench to torque all of our hardware down. Now you can find that torque spec in your instructions. Now we can rehang our exhaust by simply lifting it up and running it back through the hangers. Now with our exhaust supporting itself, we can remove our strap. And that'll do it for our look at and our installation of the Curt Class 2 inch and a quarter trailer hitch receiver on our 2018 Ford Taurus.